Welcome back to another episode. Um, as you can see in the main menu screen slash loading screen, you can also get access to the beta by purchasing the game. Um, in that way you actually help the developers by providing them with some uh, cash and thus you are supporting the game. So if you really want to get in the beta, this might be uh, your best shot. Uh, you also get some stuff it's listed here and probably also on the website. Um, what else do I want to say? Oh yeah, big shout out to Australia, the UK and the US because they are most active in uh, commenting and also in viewing my uh, videos. Um, and also for David, uh, we're going to do a rundown on all the menus. Um, so the character st screen, the certifications and map and all that. There was a new update, so this is actually a good moment. Uh, well, the fucking farm right outside the base. Uh, may get inside the base. What the fuck? Why don't I have a weapon? Anymore? is going to be really interesting. And um, yeah. Okay, that's good because now we can go to the warp portal and check out um, the new certifications that they added. Um, there was uh, an update such as I mentioned and uh, yeah, we will be viewing the new certifications. They are accessed by going through the map or the character screen. Uh, certifications are located over here. Uh, I believe they added some new things to the mosquito. Uh, yeah, the turn rate and all this is new. So um, here you can see your available certifications points. Uh, they're also uh, located here in the stats screen. Um, this is the battle rank and here you can select whatever um, title you've unlocked so far but if you take one right now in the beta you will get the invalid string so I'm going to leave it at none. Um, you can also add some implants. Uh, implants are bought through the shop. You can buy them like with Orexium or probably also with uh, station cash but that's not implemented yet. Um, what do implants do? Implants like uh, reduce the acquiring timer or uh, will get you faster movement while you're in the iron sights because otherwise it will slow you down. All that stuff. Um, also a resource uh, amplifier, so if you want to get a lot of stuff to buy uh, vehicles or um, oraxium, you want to get these kinds of implants. I might actually move a little bit out of here so I don't get shot at all too much and it will be generally a bit more quiet. Um, yeah, so let's continue with the stats. There's leaderboard, leaderboards are also exit accessed by going to the top page but because there's no combat here um, the scoreboard is empty uh, right now I've got a score because I killed someone and there's calculation based on your score per hour um, you also get to see the next deposits uh, for Oraxium that's plus 10 because we control um, let's see... This should be in facilities, I believe. Yeah, this one provides... I don't even know, wait. This is where it shows, sorry. Um, so, we don't control these two, and otherwise they would give us plus 10. Um, so, same goes with uh, polymers, with 
the kata lists and uh, what is this? Alois. Yeah, so you can toggle all of that if you would like that, but it's cluttering my screen a little bit, so I'm going to turn it back off. Um, what else did we have in the stat screen? Yeah, your um, kill death ratio and stuff, it's pretty low with me because you simply don't get a lot of kills while flying a galaxy. Um, accuracy isn't implemented yet, same with assists. Medals were active, I believe, because I had one, but I think it got away, went away because uh, I had quite a lot of kills with one of my machine guns. Yeah, here it says a bronze medal, but yeah, it doesn't show up yet in the medal section, but that's okay. Um, we've allocated 41 certifications, I believe. Um, there's trends and all that in. Uh, uh, trending screen with like a nice graph and uh, <laughs> this is my trend it's going up my kills my deaths don't seem to differentiate so yeah it's probably going to be for later um, I don't have revenge kills yet no dominations I do have a lot of deaths actually I don't know how deaths works um, oh caused by yeah I think I got team killed 9 times, which is nice. I sh got shot 120 times by NC and 39 by the Panu. I'm a little bit even with my uh, Panu and uh, NC. That's uh, facilities captured is not implemented yet because we've done that plenty by now. The leaderboards are pretty inaccurate right now because I'm ranked 716th and I believe it should be a lot lower because I simply am not all that good as all these people. Uh, next up is the map. The map is pretty occupied by the NC right now. Why the fuck is that happening? I don't know. Because we are currently the most active in the server so we should be doing a lot better. Fano is holding pretty well, like most of the time, even though they are the lowest, uh, well not lowest, they don't have a lot of uh, players, they have always seem to be outnumbered in our server, but they are highly organized, so they are actually pretty good. We, on the contrary, in the TR, seem to be doing rather badly, which is a shame, honestly. But yeah, with me and a uh, uh, kill death ratio of 0 0.7, I don't think I'll be helping out all that much. Um, next up is the classes screen. We've got uh, six classes, Infiltrator, Light Assault, Combat Medic, Engineer, Heavy Assault and the Max. The Max is pretty much a vehicle, it can get repaired by an Engineer. Uh, the Combat Medic can revive all of these classes, but except for the Max. The Light Assault has got a jetpack and he can pretty much fly over whatever he wants to do. Um, you've got the certifications, I'll take my Heavy Assault because I kind of want to upgrade him. And your progress within him, you've also got custom loadouts, but I don't think I've unlocked those yet. Um, I do believe they added new shields, so we're going to see they do anything yeah we've got uh, one normal shield and a bandolier which I don't know yeah we need to choose between them that's sad I kind of want to vote um, there's a, some abilities that you can select uh, your grenades and items such as spawn beacon you can purchase more by clicking on the resupply button and then it will go up and got like plenty of grenades so far. Appearance is one of the main things that uh, planet side will be making money out of and that is because you can buy these with station cash. Uh, it's basically like a decal you put on and yeah. So let's go to the certifications because I've been talking about those but I've not been doing anything with them. Um, 
I kind of need some of these, but I don't really know if I'll be buying them. Uh, like right now. Um, yeah, so let's see. This is new. Black armor and advanced shield capacitor as well. I'm kind of going to see what they do. This allows the shield to replenish and recharge faster. This one reduces the amount of damage taken from explosions and the nano weave armor is capable of absorbing more damage. Um, hmm. Kind of like advanced shields, but then again, if this is able to absorb more damage than its standard issue counterpart, I might not get sniped all that fast, so let's put some points in this. And, uh, you can see that uh, certification points is going down. By the way, the red uh, certifications, they are simply not implemented yet, so that's why it's not showing up. Same with the Antifico elements, they simply haven't chosen. And yet someone is unloading a ship on of uh, firepower on my right somewhere, and it's quite annoying. Or I think maybe something crashed. This was in the process of crashing. Yeah, that's uh, it's a galaxy which is transforming. Hmm. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> it's not really helpful with my reporting right now. Well, right, like, uh, stay within the shield, <laughs> but get as far out as possible, so it doesn't make all too much noise. So we were in the certifications of the heavy assaults. Um, I've got some uh, stuff, and I too brief I needed to upgrade the forward grip because I kind of need to have more accuracy. Um, now we've acquired all that we will go to the custom loadout, we'll go to our gun which we've um, put some stuff on. This is our nice gun. Um, it's got a reflex sight and a four time scope unlocked. We'll take or leave the side on and um, we've also got like a barrel suppressor which reduces the flash and now we will put a forward grip on it so it will be more stable when we shoot it. Um, now we press the back. Our secondary weapon, do we have any more unlocks on that? Nope. Um, Let's just go back. Our tool is the only, um, well, bazooka, I think, <laughs> that we've got unlocked. Uh, same with the melee weapon. The shield will have a new one. This is our nano weave armor. And we'll be selecting that as well. Our grenades and uh, items are still the same, so we'll just go back, find us a. Um, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, it's like the the icon is the gun where we can change our loadout. So it's probably like loadout selection terminal. Our, yeah, and we'll be taking our newly equipped uh, gear. You can see he's got a forward grip mounted on it now. We'll equip it, and there we have it. It's quite stable. I don't know if it's changed all too much, but we'll take it. Uh, we can also um, yeah, let's just go back to the class screen. I think I've covered all of this. If any of this wasn't clear, um, feel free to mention it in the comments and I'll try to put it in, in the next one. Uh, next up is the vehicle screen. There's uh, the three planes with their certifications. Um, 
kind of need to buy these weapons first because I simply don't have a secondary weapon on my um, mosquito yet and that's quite handy to have to be honest um, I don't think I'll be allocating, allocating resources um, in the break and turn rate yet um, in the galaxy I kind of want to know if there's anything I can do uh, vertical thrust yeah mm. it will be handy to have uh, faster repair and um, more repair rate on this so I'll be taking those um, yeah you can basically like uh, change the loadout as well if you've got more stuff I do believe I've got different stuff in my liberator so yeah you can change from the mortar to the basilisk and vice versa so the basilisk is a 20 meter heavy machine gun the mortar basically shoots grenades um, they've changed the inverted look because that was um, related to having inverted controls selected but that bug is fixed now so it's, it will be easier to um, shoot that right now some fucker just shot me um, but yeah our uh, shield is recharging but it went back really far I don't think I want to stand there. Yeah, that's um, really fun to be at spawn. There's like a bunch of nitwits there all the time. Next up, implants. We've already covered that. There's like also boost slot. Uh, and yeah. Let's just go to the friend screen. Next, you've got squads um, that you can join. And um, outfits as well uh, next up is uh, friend screen I'll be going to the mumble next and I'll be just like uh, talking to them communications is uh, generally chat and you can also mute people if they're annoying uh, like just mute or adjust their volume, volume if you can't hear them uh, video is like uh, yeah you can just stream stuff there I'm not going to do that because I kind of want to have some after, uh, well not after, uh, post processing, uh, such as reducing the video uh, size. Uh, certifications, we've covered these, but this is where you can access all of them. Uh, you've also got leadership and uh, yeah, all that, which is not really... Uh, related to either classes or vehicles. Uh, next up is a shop. We kind of need Oraxium or station cash for that. And then you can like buy stuff. I think I covered this in episode, um, let's see, 7 I believe when we bought this um, Liberator. Uh, mortar, yeah. It wasn't all that handy. Kind of should have bought something else, but whatever. It doesn't matter. It is still beta. Everything will go away after this. So yeah, I'll be playing with uh, Burner and Augury if they are online, and I'll see you guys there.